Chiefs Buffalo. Well, Katia, thank you so much. It was an absolutely gorgeous day out there on this Easter Sunday, but we want to know, of course, can we keep it going for Dingus Day? We'll check in now with meteorologist Autumn Lewandowski for the answer. You know, it's been a few years that we haven't had the best weather for Dingus Day, and as you take a look at the almanac here, where we're pretty normal with not only our daytime highs, the lows were a little bit chillier, but it's only going to get better through the week and for the day tomorrow as well. And the sun is now setting a little bit closer to eight o'clock as well. So we'll have a nice uh, daylight through much of the evening even. Temperatures now getting chilly once again. Clear skies, beautiful stars out there tonight. We're right around the 40 degree mark. Some upper 30s that are there a little bit further inland. And looking across the southern tier, you're traveling along the 219. Again, everyone's just around the same ballpark of around that 40 degree mark. Everyone will end up dropping into the lower 30s for our overnight tonight. Relatively light, light nice southeasterly winds at this point. And with that, it kind of keeps the lakeshore communities a little bit milder if you have those uh, temp or the winds to be a little more increased it goes down that the air par parcels go down the hills and warm up the lakeshore so you might even find it being even a little warmer near the lakeshore looking at our radar screen we are high and dry this continues into the work week we have this area of high pressure in control so with clear skies light winds we drop the temperatures yet again although this is very normal and then we move in the opposite direction our dingus day forecast is looking fantastic we're going to be in the upper 50s lakeshore will be a little bit cooler we'll We'll start to increase the clouds into the evening cool for the evening as well but we get even better towards the end of the week which you see that seven day taylor sounds good to me autumn thank you so much and in other news a suspected drunk driver is facing a number of charges after a high-speed police chase through parts of two counties the niagara county sheriff's office says deputies spotted a car driving through a red light at the intersection of military and porter packard roads in the town of niagara just after 3.30 this morning. When deputies tried to pull the driver over, they say he took off, jumping on the 190 at a high rate of speed. They say the driver got off the highway on Grand Island through several residential neighborhoods before stopping at a home on Orchard Road. That's where police arrested 19-year-old Vito Wojcik, charging him with DWI and other infractions. Well, earlier in the week, we told you about an abandoned pup dumped from a U-Haul truck in terrible condition. Buddy's second chance to rescue was able to help this puppy out. Koa has made it into foster care, but there's still a long way to go before he finds a forever home. Now enter an eight-year-old girl from Cheektowaga who has taken matters into her own hands. Our Sydney Yore with how the bracelet she makes is having a buffalo strong impact on helping animals like Koa. Fedora Kasperzak, loving animals is just a part of who she is. My favorite pet is my dog and my hermit crab. What are their names? Uh, my dog's name is Carolina. My hermit crab name is Hermie. Um, my blue bird is named Pop Tart, and my yellow bird is named French Fry. And my two bunnies are named DJ and Michelle. And so, what do beads and bracelets? have to do with loving animals. Well, I was reading a book and at the end of the book it said, um, what are you doing to help the animals? And I wanted to help the animals, so I, um, so I started making bracelets to help them. And so a year ago, Nora's Bracelets for a Cause was launched and with support from her family and the Western New York community, several animals in need can now experience Nora's love. So far since we've started, she's sold over $10,000 in bracelets and it's 100% profit. So we either buy the bracelets or buy the beads ourselves um, or some people do donate them, which is amazing. Usually, Nora works on raising money for just one rescue a month, but this time there's a special batch. And we made a couple koa bracelets. I've been making a lot of them, so I memorized the name. Nora and her mom say they found out about koa on Facebook when Buddy's Second Chance Rescue shared this pup's tragic story. Koa was dumped from a U-Haul truck and abandoned, and naturally, Nora wanted to help. Yeah, we saw the situation, and we wanted to help koa by making bracelets and raising some money. You can find Nora's Bracelets for a Cause on Facebook. Each bracelet is $5, and for now, all the money will go directly to Buddy's Second Chance Rescue just for koa. But with a love for animals as big as Nora's? Uh, I just want all the dogs because I really love dogs. Soon she'll be helping even more, one bracelet at a time. That's for you. Thank you. You're welcome. 
You're welcome. In Cheektowagam, I'm Sydney York, 7 News. Oh, what a sweetheart. We need more people like her, Sydney. Thank you so much. And hey, look at this. Holiday celebrations continue today at the Aquarium of Niagara, where they call it Seaster. The Easter Bunny stopped by to see all his aquatic friends and families enjoy the Easter egg hunt, bunny ears, ring toss, crafts, and more. And here's what today's egg hunters had to say. I at the aquarium and I count all the eggs and my fifth birthday. So far we found seven eggs. Wonderful. And tell me where you found them. Where'd you find them? There, 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 um, there, there. How many eggs did you find, you know? I forgot to count them. Find them all, what are you gonna get? A stuffed animal. <laughs> Now, whether you found them all or not, DJ, of course, is still going to be going home with that stuffed animal. The aquarium back open tomorrow and all week long from 9 to 5. Well, hey, there's a beautiful big bird that has a new lease on life thanks to a special program at the SPCA serving Erie County. Our man Mike Randall has the story. This place is for the birds. <laughs> not just birds, but right now the barn at the SPCA is home to these ladies. This guy named Onyx. <laughs> and a colorful critter named Peabody. Farm manager Sheila Foss says this fellow was in rough shape when he arrived at the SPCA about a month ago. He had um, an injured toenail. He had broken tail feathers, swelling in his left cheek, nasal discharge. So there was a lot going on with this bird. Brought in by a wildlife rehabilitator, no one is quite sure how the peacock ended up with those injuries. No, it remains a mystery. He may have collided with something. Something might have collided with him. He may have had an altercation with an animal. Fortunately for Peabody, he was taken under the wing of the SPCA special program called Yelp for Help. Gina Latuka says the program provides medical treatment to all kinds of animals. There is a committed donor base. They are intent on helping animals that have nobody else to pay for life-saving veterinary care, and they donate to the Yelp for Health Fund every year. Peabody has been on the mend. Here, Sheila and Assistant April are administering the daily meds. All right. You're all set, bud. Peabody and many other animals can benefit from donations to Yelp for Help with the ongoing special matching gift campaign. We're in the middle of a fantastic challenge by Bill and Nancy Gasek at National Property Management Associates. They are matching dollar for dollar all Yelp for Help donations up to $25,000. The peacock has made amazing progress in the short time that he's been hanging out here down on the farm. Peabody has about two more weeks of medical treatment, then he'll be reevaluated and maybe put up for adoption. Not sure what kind of pet a peacock will make, but Sheila says Peabody's been a great patient and... They're a beautiful bird, obviously. Peabody's returning to health thanks to Yelp for help and the folks at the SPCA. You could say that makes this peacock a lucky duck. Mike Randall, 7 News, West Seneca. Well, Peabody, we're rooting for you, buddy. Mike, thank you so much. Coming up next at 11, the push to reinstate two state lawmakers from Tennessee following their expulsion over attending a gun control protest. And the new Super Mario Brothers movie is smashing box office records this holiday weekend. The story in 7 News continues. You are watching 7 News with Taylor Epps, 7 Weather Meteorologist Josh Nichols, and Sports with Dom Tibbetts. Welcome back, everybody. Efforts are now underway in Tennessee to return two state lawmakers to their seats. This follows their controversial expulsion after taking part in a protest over gun reform on the House floor. We get the latest now from ABC's Andrew Dimbert. Ousted Democratic Tennessee lawmaker Justin Jones visited his church Sunday as the Nashville Metro Council prepares to convene a special meeting on Monday to nominate him back to his legislative seat. It's not over. That we are a resurrection people. He was ousted in a Republican-led effort to expel him and Democratic colleague Justin Pearson after they took to the House floor in a protest pushing for gun reform following a deadly shooting at the Covenant School in Nashville. It is young people. 